You just have to find that inner peace, that inner happiness, and having a perfect physique isn't gonna bring that. Hello everybody on YouTube. Today I do unfortunately have a sad one for you guys today, but on the bright side, there is a positive message behind all of this that I want to share with you all. So today is March 2nd, and unfortunately it marks the death of a fellow fitness influencer. His name is Scott Murray. I actually found out about him today, March 2nd, uh, because of a video of More Plates, More Dates, where we went into depth about the guy's history, his diet, his lifestyle, the cause of his death, and so on and so forth. And yeah, this one hit home because he was around my age, I'm 23, as of 2022, and he died at age 25. And I was like, wow, and he was on his way to a very successful YouTube career. He was net, his net worth was already at a million US dollars. He was at 45K subscribers, and man, he, was, he just had everything. He was young, he had a good physique, he had his whole life in front of him, and it was just tragic how life could just end like that. But again, there are some things he could have prevented. Obviously, the man had a eating disorder where he wanted to just maintain absurd levels of body, absurdly low levels of body fat, and he'd barely eat. And as a result, your heart suffers a lot uh, your body goes into survival mode being at extremely low levels of body fat can can cause what's called bradycardia which is basically very slow heart rate which is extremely dangerous because at any moment your heart could stop it could lead to dizziness nausea passing out and cardiac arrest essentially along with that you could also contract what's called heart arrhythmia, which is irregular heartbeats. And again, none of these cardiovascular uh, conditions are good, but they all are caused by having you know, eating disorders and extremely low levels of body fat and not eating, not supplying your body with energy. And it's just, it's just messed up how the fitness in industry has... Okay, the fitness industry will always remain, but one just has to be aware of the dangers that it could actually cause to you. You don't, we don't want to end up you know, getting extremely sick or even worse, dead because of our diet choices, okay? It's just simply not worth trying to maintain extremely low levels of body fat just to compare yourself to the next fitness influencer who's probably on steroids and it's unrealistic that you compare your natural self to him or her. And it's just sad how, you know, we set, according to the fitness industry, we set standards of how our physique should be and we want to maintain that or even get to that taking extreme measures and sacrificing our health getting there. And that's not how it should be, and this has gotta stop, but I don't know if it ever will, because, you know, the fitness industry is a, it's all a business, and this is how they make their money. Um, and it will continue for decades to come. But, it's just very sad, like, the kid was so young. He was around my age, too. And I just think you really, really just have to be self-aware and conscious about what is going on, what you're actually doing and questioning yourself. Is it really worth it for the views, for the clout, for, you know, it's your life. I mean, do what you want, but it's my opinion, I don't think being 5% body fat year-round naturally is worth it at all. It's so dangerous. It is just so dangerous. Yeah, I send my condolences to his family. I send my peace and good vibes to his friends and family and wherever he is. And yeah, guys, subscribe and let's spread this message. Let's spread the message that we do not need to have unrealistic standards for our own body. We just have to find that inner peace, that inner happiness and having a perfect physique isn't going to bring that okay you got to be okay with yourself first and then if you want you can get a good good physique to work on yourself but that's again it's not going to bring you happiness and if you do decide to like lose weight and get lean you gotta you gotta know when it's okay to stop and don't go beyond your natural potential and try to maintain that because that's where the side effects will occur so just be careful if you ever try to do any kind of diet and exercise because there are uh, health risks and always consult with your physicians before doing something radical. 
And yeah, let's all just be safe and spread this message. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good day, whatever time zone you are in. And subscribe for more. And I will always be here to answer questions and comments. So take care, everybody.